get a cadaver, then they look at medical illustrations, and it's completely two-dimensional, and the human body isn't. Microsoft HoloLens is a holographic computer that you wear. It enables you to bring Hi guys, this is uh, to I found this video on uh, YouTube. Uh, it's, there's a YouTube channel for HoloLens, and this and is a video I found that actually teach, doesn't seem to be out there I that really much. Think this it actually shows the field of view of HoloLens. And with for me, HoloLens, you for the first the generation, it actually looks pretty cool. All Here's the, same the field of view in a second, just about the time I understand where things sit. You can take any anatomical part and show any of it. You can move it around there it to is. make it kind of Within translucent that window, so you can see what you through see. the outside. And that really helped me understand like how cardiac anatomy worked. I actually had a moment where I found the aortic valve. And it was the first time that I'd actually seen the aortic valve in relation to all the other anatomical structures. You know, it was a way of seeing it that you couldn't do with an actual heart. I think this will improve students' confidence in learning anatomy dramatically. By creating simulations with the HoloLens that lets them have an experience where they can fail, that See, that for the me best way to learn because is, we don't allow people to fail too much. First generation in thing. I, w I would get it. With HoloLens, you could imagine it's not as bad as they were standing around it, at least the model, for me. Almost I'd like be a happy tour with that. group in a museum where they're all interacting completely naturally. I spend a huge amount of time to make sure they become the best professionals because it's all of our jobs to make the world a better place. Working with Case Western Reserve University to create this paradigm shift so that we can leap together with students into the future of education. We believe that HoloLens is going to enable us to do that. We talked about being able to use it to teach art history. We have an anthropology department too that I think will enjoy this technology. Anytime you change the way that you see things, it changes the way that you understand them. As soon as you can change somebody's understanding, then they can change the way they see the world.